Ooh, pick it from China time. Welcome to the Wicked Gamer and Collector, it's awesome that you're tuning in. In today's video it's time for Le Pau, because we have something totally different to review here on the channel. We're having the Type-C portable display from the brand Le Pau. It's a 15.6 inch EPS portable display and we can use it for many things. And that is what we're going to do here in the video. We're going to do an unboxing together and we're going to do chit chat. But let's talk about the specifications of the product. What I already mentioned is a portable display with a Type-C connection for charging. It's 750 grams, it's not very light, but it, I'm guessing it feels a little bit durable. But it's something we're going to check out later. It's a 15.6 inch IPS screen, has an aspect ratio by 60 by 9, but you can change it by software if you want to use the 4x3. We're having a full HD panel, no 4K. Display color 60.7 million and the color temperature is 6800K. But shall we first unpack it because I am personally very curious what are we going to get. I find this just personally funny to unbox these things together with you. Always the plastic that is a freaking nightmare. But it keeps it closed and keeps it safe. So I'm very curious what are we going to get because this display weighs quite heavy and it's portable and heavy it's something that is not a very good combination but let's see what we're going to get in the box the packaging itself is very nice you can already see we're having the cable this is the usb cable that goes into the power supply it's a basic 12 volt power supply but i already recommend use the original that came with the product a little protection it comes with a screen protector a 15 screen protector i'm not going to use it in the video here you can see that we have a warranty card, you need to fill it in and as you can see it seems to be the thing give you 3 years and 6 months warranty hmm, that is unique, you don't see that every day I have a little gift card everybody loves a gift and let's take a close look at the display itself because I am very curious what are we going to get alright so I think I'm going to pull out the plastic because that is needed otherwise I can get it out Alright, and here at the bottom we're finding some more cables, it comes include all the necessary cables if you connect your, for example, your laptop or your game system. A manual, how it works, with some basic explanation if you want to connect to your laptop, how you need to configure your Windows laptop for a second screen. And here we have the cable that is also needed for connecting all the products. Alright, so let's take a close look at the display itself because this is what all it's all about. Alright, so let's pull it out, the protection sleeve. I must say the packaging itself is very good and what you can see we're also going to get this very nice sleeve for protecting it if you want to take it with you. The sleeve will work with magnets, I'm going to pull out the display itself because yes it has a little screen protector over here, we're going to remove this one and because of course this time I'm just going to remove the screen protector. Alright, so let's talk about the little cover because this looks very nice and very like you know, it looks like very high quality. Before we go power it on, let's talk about more of the sleeve itself because as I already mentioned, it looks like a high quality. This is more like the idea what you're going to get with, for example, your tablet for protecting and it's, of course including a stand. It works with magnets and I must say it works very well. Alright, so you can protect your display very good. Alright, so let's see how the little sleeve works for giving the option to stand the display okay let's do it like this it's very basic the magnets work very good and as you can see it fits very well you can adjust it in two position if you want to so that is very convenient if you want to have a presentation and you want to show something the monitor has two speakers run on the left over here we're having the HDMI, a Type-C and a jack connection. But at the other side we're finding the other speaker. We're having a Type-C, a little bit stranger using again a Type-C for powering on the device. Everything comes included in the box. And control and wheel for the menu and an on and off switch. So here you can see when controlling the little switch, you can adjust a lot of different things. Basically they have the same options like in television. You can change the energy consumption. You have DCR 
and even the aspect ratio. And the funny thing is, if you're using the aspect ratio, you can play, for example, a Pandora with 4x3, the original aspect ratio. So that's a little bit funny that they having you giving you this option. And it's a little bit tricky to navigate. You need to get used to it because you can push the button in and you can push it up and down. Here you can see we're having signal options and HDR mode and all the little things you can find with a normal LCD display or a television. But keep in mind, there is no touchscreen and there is no internal way of hooking up a television signal, for example. Or in other words, there is no tuner. All right, so the first test, we are going to try the laptop on it. It's plug and play, I have a Windows laptop, so basically what you need to do is plug it into the HDMI port, recognize the second screen, you can duplicate it, or you can just say, I want to have an extra screen. So what you can do is basically, for example, watch two videos at the same time. Testing the screen, I'm going to use in different devices with different resolutions. We're going to start with the GameCube. The main question is if you are going to hook up devices with HDMI but with a lower resolution, how will the display handle it? Connecting this GameCube with the HDMI dongle, you can see it works like a charm and it looks beautiful on this IPS screen. Time for a close up and let's see how it looks with F0, a very fast game. Alright, so we're going to grab a Chinese game system that has a low resolution. Let's see how this works. Right, so for the next test, you can use an NVIDIA Shield or any Android TV box so we can play games and watch some videos. Alright, so for the final test, I want to test out the Sega Dreamcast and not with an upscaler that I have reviewed before. Now we're going to use the special cable. And the reason why, because he is going to put the VGI signal up to HDMI, but it is more like a very strange 567i. Very strange, so I'm very curious if this monitor can handle it. So, as you can see already, it looks all crisp and clear, it's just beautiful. But a lot of people were complaining in the past about the express ratio. And because this thing has the same features like in television or let's say in luxury television TV, 
we can just change the XPS ratio to 4x3. Very easy. And as you can see, we can play the games like, like or that is that, but a lot of people really want to see. Original aspect ratio. Alright, so this is what we're going to get with the LePau 15-inch portable gaming LCD EPS. I really love what I'm seeing here. Very nice image and the sound is not bad at all. Everything that I throw at, it doesn't even matter what kind of console I'm using. It works like a charm and didn't find any issues. So I want to thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel, hit the little bell. Become one of the Wicked family, that would be awesome. And uh, if you hit the bell and you've subscribed to the channel, that means I will see you in my next video.